I was here when Komi was bowling. What do you... Huh? I'm not bowling. I'm never bowling. Dude, my hair... My hairline. Look, look at my hair. So clean. So smooth. I didn't even wash my hair today. I mean, I, I like... I put water, like I cleaned them up a little bit, but I didn't use shampoo. I didn't use shampoo because you shouldn't use shampoo every day, chat, okay? It's time for floor 12, okay? So we're going to spend a long time on floor 12 today. I want to find all the best tips possible. Uh, I'm going to do the first run with... Um, I don't know. I'll see what teams I use, but I'll use like no, like decent teams from my account probably. And then I'll restart with different teams. Try to find uh, some uh, more free-to-play options. And, um, and yeah, I'll try to find all the positioning tips possible. I'll try to find the best teams possible. And uh, and yeah, we'll do that. Uh, all right, floor 11. Okay, chat, for floor 11, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it seriously. We're going to try to find some teams because I know some people struggle. Or you can use... Let's use bowls. Let's use bowls. Reverse smell bowls should be good first half. And then second half, let's do um uh, uh oh you want dendro kind of. Let's do traveler. Let's do traveler, yao yao, uh Kuki Kazuo. I guess we can do that. Wait no. Official Kazuo. Let's do official Kazuo. Be fine. The, um, the Hydro ones attack you, the Geo ones attack the core. So. Hello, Vlad. So I think you want to focus the Geo ones from the star. Yeah, okay, yeah. The, the Cryo Hydro attacks you. Okay, I mean, it's not too bad. It's really not too bad right now. Freeze. Freeze. Can you die? Why am I doing like zero damage? Okay. Oh, these guys are attacking me. Okay, the, the second wave of Spectre is attacking you. And the... Uh, and the Mythotrills are attacking the core. So you gotta focus the, the Mythotrills. Like, like that. Oh my god, he did so much damage. Okay, this is not too bad, honestly. I mean, for now. And then... And then what? And then the, and then the Spectres are attacking the core, but the big guy attacks you. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I have to be a little bit... Wait, we're only on the first half, though. I have to be... Okay. Okay, so first wave you want to attack the Geo... The Geo Spectres. Second wave you want to attack the Mythotrills. And third wave you want to attack the Spectres. On 12, on 11 one. Oh shit, okay, the... Okay. Okay, the, the healing trolls attack you and the, the Mita troll attacks the core. So you want to attack the Mita troll at first. That's fine. It's not too bad. Bringing hate defending these things. Yeah, it's, it, it can be a little bit annoying. Okay, what about these guys? Do they. Oh! Freak you! No, don't do this! Okay. Okay, so the... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so the two Eremites attack the core. And the Milady attacks you. Okay. That's alright. That's not too bad, honestly. Kazuha makes it much easier for sure. Kazuha or Sucrose or even Venti should be fine on floor 11. Okay, what about this one? Oh, wait, it's just one guy? Wait, it's just one guy? Really? I thought it would be a little bit more. Uh, against Electro, against the Electro Herald, like Pyro is really good. It's actually better than Cryo in general. So, um, yeah, Bennett Shangling, Bennett Shangling is really good against uh, against this guy. Especially if you have C6 Bennett, it's even better. 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> One guy, indeed. Like, literally, Bennett solos the shield in, like, 20 seconds, so... It's pretty chill. Okay, very nice. Go by, give them. That's cringe, man. I, okay, well, I guess you can... They, they're still grouping. You don't really need Kazuha. They're still grouping after... Uh, after the star. Okay, and then two miladies. Okay. Okay, every time there's a burb lady on the... See, because the, the pyro one just teleports to you straight up. So you really want to go to the uh, to the burb. Always go to the burb. Hello, banana. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Yeah, if you, if you go to the to the burb, uh, milady, uh, the pyro one is gonna follow you. So always go there. So one. Oh no, there's two. There's two. There's a recommended ER for Kazuha. Uh, a little bit more than 150, honestly, Errol. If you can get like 160, 170. Uh, depends what weapon you're using, but... If you're not using an ER weapon, yeah, you want like 170. 160, 170. Yeah, it's fine, honestly. Not too bad. Yeah, if you're floor 11, it's not too bad, honestly. I think like Bennett training first half with anything should uh, should take care of everything pretty easily. Uh, and then second half, Dendro is pretty good. Yeah, 180 is comfortable. 180 is comfortable. You can get away with 160, 170 though on Kazuma. Okay, so here... <laughs> yeah, here you want to do that pretty much. Kazuma for the win. Kazuma for the win. Oh yeah, okay, that was that was insane. Yeah, Kazuo Ursa Crows would be good here. Otherwise, you need like multiple elements. No rest for or are these guys Hydro? Or. Yeah, these guys are Hydro, right? Oh my god, my Traveler is just slapping their ass. Sheesh! Okay. Not bad. Oh yeah, Dendro on the first half is like super good. Yeah, Dendro on the on the second half, I mean, is like super super good. Uguay. Yeah, Hyperbloom second half should be the best option. I guess. Especially if you have Nahida, but even if you don't have Nahida, just bring double Dendro and Yeah, that's that's pretty chill. No, ER is energy recharge, uh my key, yeah. Hey, my my cooldowns. You need to dodge though, because if your cooldowns are getting uh Extended is pretty bad. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that was good. That was good. Uh, Kazuha makes it much easier, but if you don't have Kazuha, you can use Sucrose. And yeah, Hyperbloom can take care of every everything on the second half, honestly. So I would say Hyperbloom is pretty good. And then first, you can do like anything with Bennett Changling. This, this floor 12 is really bad in general. Like, it's kind of random. Like, there's a lot... Of, there's too much RNG, pretty much. Like, it doesn't matter if you really skill. I mean, there are some stuff that you can control and then you can play around, of course. But, like, for example, the 12 1 second half with t double Hydro Herald and, and one uh, double Cryo and one Hydro. Like, it, it is kind of random, honestly. If you don't have, like, a ton of damage uh, straight up to proc their shield, or if you don't have, like, if you're not able to group them, which is pretty much impossible, really. Uh, at least from what I've seen, maybe there's a way. I'll try to find it, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of random. Uh, and then twelve three, the beasts are just uh, ultra tanky, and uh, the hydro guy kind of goes yolo all over the place. If you don't have a lot of damage, might be a little bit tricky. Uh, the rest is pretty simple, honestly. But yeah, twelve twelve one second half and twelve three first half is kind of pain. So first. Tip for 12-1, chat. First tip for 12-1. First wave of enemies is Whopper Flower, okay? So to group the Whopper Flower if you don't have Kazuha. First tip is always, if you don't have a grouper like Venti or Kazuha, you walk to the wall next to you, behind you, and then the Whopper Flowers are just going to teleport like that. And then it's free. And then it's literally free, like... 
try to kill them together because in this chamber the enemies sm spawn one by one when you kill one the other ones are gonna spawn but i mean it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you can still do that and stay on this side and they will teleport again pretty much so it is pretty i would say like the the whopper flowers are pretty easy to kill honestly it's not too bad oh my god i missed my shot okay good all right then these guys honestly you just walk a little bit on the side and they're gonna get closer and then you can group them properly you don't even need venti or kazuha honestly i mean if you have them of course use them it's gonna make it much easier but other than that you don't really need it positioning for 12-1 is actually pretty simple like if i walk there the next two that are a little bit further away we're, we'll be close we'll come closer as you can see oh so it's it's not too hard to group them i would say i would say it's not too hard then you do that and then yeah see i like it's not like i use kazuo that much to group them uh the hydro one is gonna be annoying to break here but let's see what we can do so bennett burst I guess I'll use Yomiya Burst. I'll do that even though it doesn't do anything. Okay, I mean, uh, that's fine. We did it. Not too bad. A little bit slow, but... Oh my god, dude. Okay. A little bit slow, but it's like, alright. Okay, can you kill it? All right. And then here comes the nightmare, chat. This is the nightmare right there. Like, it's literally the worst thing they've ever done, I think. They're literally playing freeze. You remember how we had... Uh... Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think Yomiya is really good in this chamber. You remember how they were playing rational in the past? Well, now they're playing freeze. This is actually the worst. Like, yeah, Yomiya is not good in this abyss, man. I swear to God, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're actually trying to sell her or if they're just doing this to just to be annoying, but... God, dude, even me! Like, bro, I'm even struggling on my main account. It's actually crazy. Maybe I need to R5 my Haran, Chad. Oh, my God. Oh my god, dude, this is pain. Bro, this is actually terrible. We should go here. I don't know if we like, if there's like a better place to be. To group them properly, but... Okay. That's kind of pog. Okay, I got Shenling Burst. And I got like, obliterated. Oh my god, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, oh my god, man. I'm getting fucking destroyed. How's it going? Okay. Bro. Bro, they're moving too much. Uh, it's so. Oh my god, my Bennett Burst did 74k, you're serious? Okay, freak you! Oh my god, this is good, I, I framed everything, chat. Okay, we got it. Oh my god, my stamina, my energy, my cooldowns, everything is gone. Oh, <laughs> dude. Everything is gone. And my, H my HP is not gone yet, though. Okay. My HP is gone. <laughs> Dude. Bro, what the freak is this? Oh my god. Bro, they remove your stamina, they remove your eight your your cooldowns, and then you're fucked. What the hell? It's crazy. I have to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill it without uh Without Sucrose, I guess. 
have to do it like that. Okay, we're doing it, but oh my god, it was a struggle. All right, so for this part of the video, we will do a voiceover. Um, I tested some other teams after the first day, and I know the Abyss guide is coming a little bit late, but I still wanted to put it out. Uh, and yeah, for this part, I figured out more chips after I recorded the, pr the first part, so we're going to talk about that right now. Um, as you can see, I tried Hotel Virgin. It works very good. Um, I think it's the safest team, actually. Hotel Virgin, Yanfei Virgin. If you have uh, Xingqiu Zhongli with a Dendro character, preferably Nahida because she's the best, of course. But Traveler should work. Just have to be careful. Yao Yao should be decent as well. Technically, you only need Dendro for the Hydro Shield, so any Dendro can work. You should have enough time if you can clear the first half in 1 minute 30. Uh, 1 minute 45 even but i think 1 minute 30 is, is pretty comfortable um and yeah burgeon team is really good uh who, with hutao nahida shingcho yalan or with nahida national that you will see a little bit after uh, and in this one gene sunfire is also very good as you can see here uh, i'm playing gene with bennett shangling shingcho pretty much ben uh, shangling pretty much gene national uh, of course, National is always going to be a very good team in the Abyss. Uh, especially against the last boss as well, it's going to be very good. We'll come back to it later, but having multiple elements is very good. And uh, Pyro, Hydro, plus another element uh, like a Nemo or Dendro will be very helpful. But yeah, Gene Sunfire just shreds the Cryo Shields like crazy. Uh, you put Bennett Burst, then Gene Burst. And it basically will create an area where you proc pyro reaction all the time very fast uh, thanks to gene burst that is going to swirl the pyro um and the cryo shields are just going to be shredded and even it will also work on the hydro shield uh, my best tip for this chamber is going to be to stay next to a wall uh, it will limit the movement from the heralds they won't move too far if they're spinning or dashing it might just go into the wall, so it will be easier to group them. It's not 100%. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit random, but it should be helpful. So yeah, Utau Burgeon, uh, Gene Sunfire, and then Nahida Burgeon, Nahida National, which is pretty much a Burgeon team. Um, the Nahida National team is extremely good. It's a little bit harder to navigate than the Gene Sunfire or the Hutao Virgin, because usually you will play your Hutao Virgin with Zhongli or a shield. Uh, you could bring a Cryo Shield like Leila or Dayona. Uh, but yeah, for the Nahida National, you just have to be careful because you can get one shot. You don't have a lot of healing survivability. You have to be careful, but it just destroy the Hydro Shield and Bennett Chengling will take care of the Pyro Shield. So yeah, best tip for this part is to stay in a corner next to a wall. Uh, to limit the movement from the bosses from the heralds but other than that yeah not a lot of tips for this one it's mainly team comps you can replace any dendro with like traveler yao yao uh, baiju not so great a hytham can work have to be careful with the burn and the uh survivability um and yeah any national team even rational can work it's a little bit hard uh, and it doesn't really work too well for the last chamber um I mean, it still works with Rational, but yeah. Uh, you still have to have high investment in your Bennett, Shangling, Xing Cho if you want to get to the Thunder Manifestation with right with Rational. So you got to be careful on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this 12-1 uh, second half. Alt, uh, press Alt plus the character you want to use the burst to uh, roof. And that's how you use the you quick swap and you use the burst like fast. Um, that's how I know I, I don't use it because I'm fast already. I'm faster than the game, so um, I have inhuman reactions. So I don't need that. But yeah, if you if you have skill issue, uh, you can use alt uh, alt key. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Are you fine the abyss? Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but at least for me for now. But I think like. It's really restrictive. It's really restrictive in terms of teams, so... So, yeah. yeah it's really restrictive. That, that's the only thing, pretty much. But you don't have a lot of teams that can work. I was using Hutao Burgeon against this guy a long time, uh, like, uh, last time it was there as well, so... 
Order guides you. Oh my god. This is so annoying. This guy is moving way too much. Like, wait, did I not just use my shield? Oh, whatever. As you can see, um, Raiden National can work against the Thunder Manifestation. Pretty much any national team, as I said earlier, can be good against the Thunder Manifestation. Uh, or even in the first half, you can use it. Uh, national team is going to be good overall. Uh, and yeah, if you have good investment, this uh, moment here is on my free-to-play account. So I think Bennett is C2, Shangling C4, and maybe Xingqiu is C6. But everyone has uh, four-star weapons. Shangling on the catch, Bennett on sapwood. And yeah, I just destroy the Thunder Manifestation with just three characters. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, just have to follow the, the movements a little bit. But as uh, usual, it's a little bit random here as well. But yeah, any single target team, uh, Hutao Burgeon, as you could see earlier, Nahida, National, will work perfectly fine. You can use uh, Yula if you can time your burst properly. Hutao Double Hydro is really good. Uh, any 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 teams that can deal a lot of single target damage with uh, Ayato, Chab, can work too. And for the first half, it's pretty much the same. Uh, of course, Shiremiya is good on 12-2, but as you could see earlier, getting through... 12-1 uh, second half with Yomiya is pretty painful and almost impossible, so I wouldn't recommend. Uh, okay, let's see. Next on the agenda. Oh my god, this is not what I wanted to do, but... Okay, oh this is good. Okay, very Pog. Oh my god. Oh my god, let's go. Goodbye. Sheesh. Okay, this is insane. Yeah, the only part that Yomiya is good at in this abyss is literally the Thunder Manifestation. Everything else, uh, you literally cannot play her. It's actually cringe. Oh my god. Oh my god, and they're dead. <laughs> Holy shit. That was uh that was insane. Oh my god, I can't move. Okay, that was huge. P6 F2P. I did not swipe, I just saved all my uh mom's saving and she swiped for me. No, I'm I'm joking. It's just uh yeah, I saved uh, I saved for a long time, pretty much. Okay, I need to people run. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah, Dendro Dendro is makes it much better though. Like Dendro helps a lot in this one. And without Dendro, it's kind of. Hey, come on, please give me energy. Ah, uh, yeah, please. Oh no, yeah. Oh no, energy. Oh shit. Okay, okay, we got it. I believe, chat. Any believers? Any believers? I need uh, I need pyro though. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so close. Oh my god, it's so fucking close. Oh, please. Oh shit, I got vape in my ass. Oh my god, please tell me. Tell me I got it. Uh, okay, goodbye. Sheesh. Let's go. All right. Now we are at the last chamber. Uh, I will finish this one as well. As you can see, we are on a viewer's account. Uh, I'm playing free steam first half and Nahida national second half. I think it's just a continuity of the, the teams I played in the first chamber as well. Uh, I think it's the same account. Um, for this chamber, first half, rational or freeze are extremely good. Hyper Bloom works really good too. 
Um, in this abyss, you might need to switch around uh, teams eventually. If you're really struggling with one chamber, sometimes you will have to like restart from the beginning and uh, change the team to get to 12-2 or 12-3 with a different team. Um, but yeah, Freeze, Rational, Hyper Bloom, really good. Bloom can work as well, but a little bit hard against the, the chicken. But uh, otherwise, yeah, same teams as the um, as the previous rotation for the first chamber, pretty much. Uh, and the strat against those two beasts is usually to stay next to a wall. Same thing as the lectors. Uh, these two beasts are moving a lot, so if you stay next to a wall, it will limit their movements. They won't move as much, and they won't go uh, all over the the map. It's gonna be easier to damage them in AOE. And yeah, freeze is really good. Um, they have freeze resistance, but you can still freeze them quite long and quite efficiently with uh, with Ganyu Ayaka or Ganyu Shenhe or Yaka Shenhe. And of course, the best Hydro is Kogomi, but Mona can work uh, more than fine. On the second half, uh, second half, Nahida National is, as I said, the best before. Um, you will have all the elements you need to break every shield. It goes really, really fast. Uh, there's no like insane strat. It will start with Cryo Shield and then Hydro Shield, and it will finish with Pyro Shield. You want to save your Xingqiu Burst for the Pyro Shield if you can. Uh, and yeah, every time the, you break the shield, it will go down for, for a few seconds. You can damage at that time. And then when you break the three shields, it will stay down for a little bit longer. And it should be enough to take him down in about a minute, uh, a minute and a half. Honestly, the Nahida team can even do it in like 45 seconds. So uh, it should be more than enough. If you don't have Nahida, uh, you can use Rational, as you could see right before. Uh, or... You can do Child National or Gene Sunfire also work very well. So you have a lot of options. Usually the Pyro will be enough to break the, the Hydro Shield. So it shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this Abyss. As I said earlier, let's finish with team recommendations. I already gave you a few teams with uh, the previous floors we checked, but I will recap all of them here and also give you some other uh, options uh, also more four star options because i talked a lot about five stars but not that many four stars so let's get into it uh, as i said first half any freeze team is going to be perform performing really well uh first half first chamber it's going to be a little bit tricky to kill the cryo whopper flowers but other than that uh if you have a, a morgana team or freeze team with Kazuo or sucrose you will make it pretty easy um, the J Plume doesn't have a lot of HP, so even Morgana team should be pretty good. You don't need a ton of DPS. And for the last chamber, the beasts are easier to kill if they're frozen, so they won't move as much. So Freeze on the first half. Uh, Eula can be very good as well for single target DPS, and she's good against the beast. You can use Mono Geo, it's also pretty good. You can use Rational, as I said earlier, with. Raiden, Bennett, Shangling, Xingqiu. Uh, you can use Hyper Bloom. Hyper Bloom is pretty decent too. A little bit tricky if you don't have like high investment against the Jade Plume. But it doesn't have a lot of HP as I said. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So Hyper Bloom with Alhaitem or Hyper Bloom with Nahida. Uh, Nahida Kuki or Nahida Raiden. Then you add a Hydro like Yellan or Xingqiu. And you can bring a shield like Zhongli or another Dendro. That will work very good. Utao Double Hydro is pretty good as well on the first half with uh, Xingqiu Yalan and Shangling. This archetype is pretty pretty good. Um, and finally, if you only have four star options, uh, Sucrose Taser is surprisingly, I mean surprisingly, it's always been a good team, but it's very good in this uh, first half as well. Uh, Fischl National is good too. But remember, you will need power on the second half, so I wouldn't really recommend using Bennett and Shangling on the first half. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Shao team can work as well, but you need Bennett. Uh, and National team can be decent too. And I think that's it. Uh, Sino Hyper Room is also pretty good. It lets you play, uh, lets you play Kuki and like maybe switch your Alhaitem for the second team if you don't have Nahida. So you can use a Traveler or something like this. And then for the second half, you have actually quite a decent amount of options on the second half. It's not as restrictive uh, as it looks like, but 
you will most likely need Bennett Changling. If you don't want to use Bennett Changling or if you still don't have them built, I would highly recommend. But if you don't want to use them, uh, you can use Toma for a Virgin team with uh, Toma, Nahida, uh, Yelan or Xingqiu. And then last uh, character can be either a shield like Zhongli or Bennett. You will need a healer most likely in the Virgin team. Uh, so either Zhongli for shield or Bennett for healing. As I said earlier, Wutao Virgin is going to be really good. Uh, it's a lot of 5 stars, but it's, it's a really good team. Uh, Nahida National. So Nahida, Bennett, Shengling, and Xingqiu. You can replace Xingqiu for Yelan. It's going to be a little bit trickier to not die. Because Xingqiu gives you damage reduction. But it works. Kazuha National. Any national variation is going to be good on the second half. So pretty much Bennett, Shengling, Xingqiu with anything almost is going to work. You can even use a cryo character like Yaka or Rosaria or Aya. This was this will this will work pretty well. You can use a Yato, you can use Child. You can use Al Haitham National, it's gonna be pretty good too. Everything is pretty good here. Um yeah. I also made a cheat sheet on Twitter. If you want to check it out, you will you can find my Twitter in the description uh, where I showcase all the team. I will also put it in the screen. And um, I also give tips on Twitter. I do account reviews uh, on stream on Sundays and on Twitter uh, from time to time. So if you're interested, follow me there. Twitch.tv slash Comemos and Comemos on Twitter. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or join my Discord. I'm more reactive on Discord and I reply to everyone. And you can also watch my streams to maybe help you with Abyss. I always reply on stream as well, give tips. And I do a lot of viewers Abyss. So if you need help with your Abyss, because you, even with those tips, you can't do it. Feel free to join. And I hope to see you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Uh, dude, I, I, I don't have cooldown, I don't have energy, I don't have stamina, what do I do?